Animal Watch viewers, we love to cover extreme dogs and wolves on this channel. So today I've decided to bring you the top dogs that look like hellhounds. There's something beautiful and terrifying about black otherworldly dogs. And to be honest, I adore them, but of course it depends on personal taste. Ocean here appears in her own spooky reels and some people are freaked out by her icy eyes. But what if I were to tell you that there are some dog breeds out there who honestly look like they could be Lucifer's personal protection dog. Dogs that look like they've stepped straight out of the depths of hell with piercing yellow eyes or ice blue eyes that cut straight through your soul. Imagine walking down the road with one of these beauties on your arm. I know I'd love to. All of these dogs will feature in today's show. So if you want to find out how you too can have a dog that looks like a hellhound or a werewolf, don't go away. keep you waiting any longer, shall we start? At number seven, the Zolo. Not ferocious, but spooky and otherworldly. Doesn't really look like a dog at all. Animal Watch has previously filmed this dog that looks like he has stepped straight out of the mummy. With his hairless flesh and piercing eyes, he looks as if he's transcended thousands of years just to exist now in modern times. His history is pretty chilling too, as Zolos were often sacrificed and then buried with their owners to act as guides to the soul on its journey to the underworld. They have been found in burial sites of both the Mayan and the Toltec, so truly a dark companion in the underworld. Standing approximately 26 inches for the largest type and weighing 23 kilograms, he makes for a head turning companion as long as you remember to oil that skin. Also beware of his independent streak. He's not the most obedient of our hellhounds. Perhaps his mind's elsewhere communicating with his long lost ancestors. At number six, the Black American Bully. Animal Watch filmed probably one of the most beautifully hellish American bullies on planet Earth. Black as the night with eyes that look like they flash red. Meet Yondu of RC Kennels, famous for his intense demonic presence. His muscular physique and pricked ears look just like he's clawing out of the depths of hell. Known for his otherworldly photo shoots coming out of the mist, this dog absolutely is the embodiment of beautiful darkness. Ironically, the American Bully is one of the kindest and most affectionate dogs on earth, and recent press has meant he's now banned in the UK. But we know the real truth here at Animal Watch. The XL Bully, he's all scary looks, but with a heart of gold and totally doesn't deserve this classification. Yondu here isn't as big as an XL Bully, so he's a perfect size companion at approximately 21 inches tall and 26 kilograms in weight if you fancy a smaller, more manageable hellhound. At number five, the Black Canacorso. This dog embodies every demon's wet dream with his giant muscular physique, glinting teeth, pricked ears and absolute desire to protect his owner. Can of Corsos come in many colours, but the black ones really are the most unbelievably beautiful ones of all time. Descending from war dogs of the Roman Empire and Mesopotamia, Imagine this huge, fierce dog racing alongside the horse of his master into battle, perhaps with a huge spiked collar on. The black ones though, wow, the black really shines and picks out their muscles and reminds me of the hellhounds from Ghostbusters. The largest males can stand at 28 inches at the shoulder and weigh a hefty 50 kilograms. Ironically, again, this dog is an incredible family dog, very obedient and easy to train as a protection dog, but equally a total lovable demon hunk around children. So looks and the truth don't always go hand in hand. At number four, the Black Malinois. 
This dog means business and is one of Animal Watch's most favorite dogs we've ever filmed. He's the ultimate soldier. He has no fear. And when trained by the army, he is a lethal weapon. Now imagine a black one. Would that be more intimidating? Now imagine him trained up as a protection dog, roaming the dark of somebody's property. You climb the wall and are faced with this. He is a classic demon dog in both appearance and fierceness. Smaller than you'd think at 26 inches at the shoulder and 30 kilograms for the males, but this is why they are just so perfectly hellish. Imagine the blundering T-Rex. Now imagine the cunning and effective velociraptors, smaller but fast and deadly. He's a black ninja waiting to strike fast and quickly. And he's so ridiculously beautiful, but usually considered too hyperactive to be a relaxing pet. But wouldn't he make a fabulous hellhound guard dog? Hell, why not have a few? And you can have your very own Velociraptor pack. At number three, the Black Preza Canario. Now often confused with the Canacorso to the untrained eye, these fantastic protection guard dogs mean business. Animal Watch featured their awesome bite work previously, but want to focus in on the Black Prezas, who are some of the most beautiful hellhounds we've ever seen. They just seem more quick and fiercer than the Canacorso, so they've picked them to the post in our countdown to the ultimate hellhound. Just take a look at these breathtakingly hellish black ones owned by Frontline Preza. Their rippling muscles and fast reactions make them totally fit in with any image of a fantasy hellhound. Standing at 26 inches and males weighing around 65 kilograms, these are heavy beasts that descend from Spanish herding and fighting dogs, which makes them just that bit more edgy than some of the breeds we've mentioned up to now. What would you do if you saw one of these coming towards you in the dark? At number two, the boar's hound. Animal Watch travelled to Canada to film this new breed as we just couldn't get enough of how beautiful he is and we had to see him up close in the flesh. I truly thought he was one of the most beautifully demonic dogs I'd ever laid my eyes on. Developed by best of both worlds and constantly confused with the Canis Panther, he's fit, he's muscular and totally matches the demon dogs from the movie Resident Evil. With his sleek Doberman-esque meets Pitbull physique, he has both the size and the speed to look every bit the demon dog, chasing you down in the dark. The ones trained for protection work also can absolutely do this, chase you down in the dark. This dog can also hunt, so be very scared if you enter into somebody's property unannounced, as this dog is one of the best beautifully demonic and scary wonderful dogs of all time. He's intelligent, easy to train, super powerful and also totally devoted to his owner. Males can stand up to 28 inches tall and weigh up to 50 kilograms, making them tall and sleek as well as muscular. A hellhound that's as powerful and one of my favourites of all time. And at number one, the black wolf dog. Now we bring you the ultimate demon dog, the one of nightmares, the one that everybody fantasizes is the ultimate werewolf from the depths of hell. We bring you the black wolf dog. Here we see a pure blood black wolf with CGI eyes in the gray as he closes in on Liam Neeson at the end of the film. Many wolf dogs, however, stand a whopping 33 to 35 inches at the shoulder and weigh over 60 kilograms. They tower over every breed we have mentioned today. The largest black wild wolf was caught in Alberta, Canada and weighed a colossal 230 pounds. Sadly, here he is. He was far more beautiful alive. Many first generation wolf dogs grow larger than the wolf parent, so we are talking true to life werewolf, dire wolves, long legs and a stare that will cut you dead. Before I carry on, firstly let me quickly mention 
that wolves and wolf dogs do not stalk and eat humans. Tame wolf dogs are some of the sweetest beings on earth and will honestly lick and scratch you into an early grave. So if all our fantasy today is built on fairy tales and mythology, Red Riding Hood, the huge wolf-like creatures from Game of Thrones, the grey, werewolf films in general, Hound of the Baskervilles, are all responsible for human dread of wolves. So humans have developed this fear of the wolf and the black wolf is the most ominous vision of all, often signifying evil beings and death, growling, stalking, coming out of the dark cave like the never ending story, or the black wolf being the one that finishes Liam Neeson off. But equally, Twilight has sort of made them sexy too, so you get this group of people who truly do fantasize about being a werewolf, especially if they are anything like the cast of Twilight. And this has led to people wanting to have their very own werewolf at home. Now we know that red eyes or blue eyes on wild black wolves do not exist, so anything with this is clearly doctored or photoshopped. Even this fantastic clip from Black Canadian Wolf, where his wolf dog's eyes look like they glint red, but it's just a camera fault. What if I told you though, that breeders are now creating black wolf dogs with blue eyes, eyes to cut right through your soul? This has surfaced from fantasy and us humans perceiving the most terrifying vision being the ice-eyed wolf. The wolf whose eyes pierce your soul and freeze you solid as he stalks towards you. There are some fantastic blue-eyed black huskies around and by using the genetics from these dogs on either side mixed with black wolf dog genes, breeders have managed to create these night walkers, these undead beings from the north, the ultimate hellhound. And to me, I find them exquisitely beautiful and nothing is more captivating than a black wolf with the lightest eyes, but others may find this ungodly and otherworldly. Just like when I publish Ocean's Reels, where her eyes cut through your soul. Many comments are a mix of captivation with fear, as some people find those eyes make them uncomfortable. Anyway, which one of our hellhounds do you like the most? Write it in the comments below and suggest any other breeds that I've forgotten or missed out on. And if you enjoyed our episode today, then remember to give us a big like, share this video and subscribe to the channel. We have full length episodes on all the breeds covered in today's programme and you can find them all in the end credits and the description below. Bye for now.